What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be using Big Ben Rothwell. And he got released recently. Don't know why. He was supposed to fight Alexander Gustafson in in May, I believe, and they just released him. It's kind of it's kind of weird when a fighter gets released when he already had a fight booked, but I'm sure something I'm sure something happened. Eventually, it will come to the light. But anyway, we're going to be using Big Ben. I've always been a fan of his, even though he might not always have been the most um, winning this fighter, or however you want to say that. But he always made his fights fun, I feel. So that's what we're going to try to do today. I'm not going to try to be technical. I'm not going to try to be accurate. I'm just going to try to put the pressure on my opponent and just, just brawl, really. That's what we're going to do here. So if you're looking for a clean... You know, nice clean fights. This ain't the place. So, alright. So, it does have that kick. I wasn't sure. Most calves do, it seems. Like, they have that, uh, that spinning back kick. So, always when you're fighting a calf, just try to be aware. And, like I said, I'm just going to put the pressure on this dude. Fuck my stamina. I, you know, I can't, can't see it, so fuck it. Overcommit his block. Get him against the fence. Try to work the clinch here. Some dirty boxing. We will clinch. Oh, nice. So, all right, this guy's uh, rocked me a few times here. Go to his body. Just to switch it up a bit, but we're going to stay right in his face. Like I said, we're brawling. These fights aren't going to be pretty. Stop like that. Clinch him up just to so, know, you know, he's not safe. I will grab that neck just to get some extra damage and to let him know that, you know, I'm going to be controlling this fight. I'm going to be putting the pressure. I'm going to be the one coming forward. Try to throw a knee there. See if he can handle it. Oh, nice. Nice. I guess he can. I answered that, huh? But he's gonna make a he's gonna make a mistake. Ooh, alright. He's looking to spin. Yep. See, anytime like your opponent tries to they look like they're trying to create that distance, they're mostly looking to spin or they're looking to throw a big strike. Uh, let's see if we can get the fight done. If we if not, I will get up. Ooh, this guy's not. You gotta post, man. You gotta post. How do you guys not... Like, I play some guys and, like, they, they don't post the hooks. I don't understand if you guys just don't know how or what, but... Let me know if you guys, like, need help with that. I mean... Don't just... You guys should not be... Uh, you guys should not be... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, neglecting the ground game. Don't neglect it, man, because it's a big part of the game. If you want to get better, you have to be good on the ground, at least in a defensive manner. You might, you know, you don't need good top control, but you need good bottom control. That's just, that's just a reality of it, man. But let's look at the stats. They're probably crazy. Like I said, I'm not worried about accuracy. I'm just trying to pretty much press 37 out of 7. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. To the next one all right so this should be a fun fight this guy picked Kimbo slice well uh, we'll we'll about to see how good he is usually if you pick Kimbo slice you're looking to have fun or or, I, or at least I feel like you're pretty good you're pretty confident because he's I believe it's like a three and a half star fighter so all right he seems he seems confident yeah you ain't gonna get me with that buddy he was hoping I'd taunt back or something. <laughs> you ain't gonna get me with that. But again, the uh, the objective is pressure here. Oh, already dropped him. 30 seconds in. You gonna get up? Come on. Come on, you taunted. You're confident. Let's see if I can break him. There we go. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice overhand. Sometimes you don't even have to pressure with strikes. You can just pressure, you know, just pressure with your body. Did not mean to, did not mean to uh, angle off there, but it happens. This guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, come on, man, come on. Where's that confidence? You, when someone's doing this to you, you, you gotta throw it back, man. Watch the last fight, and you know it's that 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 guy that that, that guy dropped me as I spit and sputter, and 
See, because he was throwing back. That, you know, the last guy just made, like, that one mistake of the, uh, throwing the spinning back kick. But this guy's just, he just let me walk him down. Throwing body kicks. I don't know why. When someone's as close to you, don't throw body kicks, bro. You want to throw hooks? Maybe even a straight? Just to interrupt me? Nice body shot, but... Yeah, this guy don't know what he's doing. Oh, that's it. That is it. And yes, these fights are in quick match, guys. It's just, just how it is. It's just how it is, because... You guys know the weight classes if you played the game. But yeah, anyway, this guy, uh, I don't know, just didn't know what he was doing. He thought because I, maybe I picked uh, Ben Rothwell. Maybe I didn't know what I was doing either, but come on, man. If you're going to taunt, at least be good. If you're going to taunt, at least be good. That's uh, that's my advice, at least. But all right, let's, uh, let's move on. I doubt that this guy's going to want a rematch. If he does, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. So, uh, so I guess uh, let's see if he wants a rematch. No. All right. So, one more fight, and I'll be right back. So yeah, Big Ben's kind of had a good career. Like I said, he you know didn't win all his fights. You know, wasn't the uh, he's not gonna hold the record for like most wins in heavyweight history, but it seemed like. He, his fights always seemed entertaining, at least. That's just my opinion, but... Alright, let's see. Let's see if this guy can get past the first round. Alright. Alright, so far. Alright, I can tell that this guy's a little bit better than the last guy, at least. So, work his body a bit. Instead of head high, I'll try to work his body a little bit more. But the the objective is, is, uh, is the same. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change up my uh, game plan. Win or lose, I'll go out of my shield. But yeah, when someone's pressuring you, yeah, do that. Just exactly what that guy did. I don't know why he got up. Maybe he didn't mean to go for the takedown. But when someone's pressuring you, that's that's an option right there. Go for a takedown. Or if someone's pushing him against the fence, try to clinch him. In order for him to break the clinch, he's gonna have to back up, so. I don't know why this guy's going for takedowns if he's just looking for points, but look, see? Nice. Forward pressure, man, forward pressure. But yeah, let me know if you guys are a fan of Big Ben Rothwell. I'm sure some of you may be, some of you may not be, some of you may not even care. Oh, this guy. Come on, man. You gotta know how to block those punches in the clinch. So this guy's combo is that overhand into a hook. And my own overhand. Let's go. See. Yeah, I'm just uh, just brawling, man. All right, so this guy, I don't know if if he wants to fight on the ground. He had the fight on the ground. Oh, where are they? Oh, caught him back, Swain. You gotta be careful doing that. Oh, his block is uh, his block is slowly starting to slowly starting to crumble. So we're gonna keep that pressure on. But yeah, I feel Big Ben was really like the uh, a heavyweight gatekeeper. Ooh, nice. Nice. That's his combo. But yeah, he's yeah, he's going to keep doing it now that I landed. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're in a fight now. Come on, now. I could pull a counter that, but... We'll just, uh, we'll just keep it clean. I mean, uh, not clean. <laughs> keep it dirty. But yeah, I feel Big Ben was like a uh, gatekeeper of the heavyweight division. 
Like recently, it seemed like he was fighting like a lot of prospects. Like he fought uh, that uh, Charles Bennett or or, or um, Chris Bennett. I mean, the guy who uh, knocked out uh, Gian Volante with that uh, cartwheel kick or whatever it was called. So, and and he fought some other guys too that were like up and coming. Ooh, nice front kick, but come on now. Ooh, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to do that uh, forward hook, which actually landed on him. I'm working this guy's body a little bit more. Oh, just throw him when you're hurt. He's tired. He's going to crumble. No, you're not going to get that guy. You are not going to get that. Get out. Oh, nice. Nice. But there you guys go. Some UFC. But yeah, when someone's in your face like that, you gotta push back. And if you wanna be the one pushing forward, I'll just, just, just push, try to push forward. Mix up your combos a little bit better than I did. In this, I was really mixing this guy up a little bit better. But you don't have to mix him up crazy. People think you have to do all these crazy combos. Just no, just once in a while, go to the body. Make him think that... Just make him worry about the body a little bit. Once you make him worry about the body a little bit, the head will open up. Trust me. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't worry, guys, I am not going to abandon this game. I know some of you guys subscribe to me just for the UFC 4 content. But trust me, I'm not going to abandon the game. I will play it. I just don't. I just need to take a break from it. And the plus, I want to just add some more games to the channel. So just... Just be aware that the UFC 4 content is not going to go away. I just, here and there, the videos will be different. But anyway, guys, if you liked the video, please leave a like. It helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe if you're new. But if you don't do any of that, at least have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.